What's up guys, thank you for joining. Today I'm gonna show you how to create a Power BI background in Canva. Power BI backgrounds are really powerful if you wanna surprise your end users. And this is the time, my friend. I'm gonna show you how to do this step by step as always. So now let's do this. So real quick, before we get started, I created two different types of backgrounds, the green background and also the black background. But like I said before, I used Canva to create these backgrounds. So now no more talking and let's do this. To get started with this project, you need to have a Canva account. If you don't have one, go to canva.com and then follow the steps to create a free account. I already have an account here, so I'm good to go. So once you created your free account, the next step here is to create a design. Once you are here, custom size. For today's tutorial, we're gonna use this custom size here with 1,664 and then height is gonna be 936. Create a new design and I already have this one right here. And then as you can see on the left side, I have also instructions, more details to follow and create this Canva. So the next step here is to create a gray background. So let's go over here. Let's high note here and then elements. You can type here rectangle. So it's right there. The next step here is to change the color. So let's go over nodes here. This is a gray background. So let's select this hex code. Once we are there, hit this option again, and then control V, boom. We just changed this color. Let's go over nodes again. As you can see, we have more details here. We need to create also a rounded green rectangle. So these are the dimensions here. So let's do that real quick. So let's go over shapes here. We go over nodes again. So the width is gonna be 332. And then the height is gonna be 909. So let's make those updates real quick. And then the height is gonna be 909. Perfect. So we are good now. Let's go over nodes again. What else do we have here? We need to insert a rounded gray rectangle. Okay, so let's do that. Control C, Control B. And then what are the dimensions? The width is gonna be 1,337 pixels. So let's go over position again. And then Control V. And then the height is gonna be the same. Hit enter, boom. So what is going on here? So now you can see that this is looking better. Let's go over notes again. What else do we have here? We need to change the color for this one right here. And what is the color? It's gonna be the gray background number two. So let's go over there and then change this control V. Perfect. Let's go over notes again. The next step here is to insert another gray rectangle and these are the dimensions, okay? The width is gonna be 114, control C. And then let's hide notes again. Let's go over here. And we're gonna close this gap real quick. So let's select this rectangle again, go over position. And then the width is gonna be this one. And then the height is gonna be 909, so that's fine. To select the color for this rectangle, we have to match this color right here, this gray. And this is gonna be this one right here. Control C. Let's go over here again. Control V. There you go. So this looks perfect. Let's keep going. We need to insert five small rounded rectangles. So let's do that. Before we go over the next step, let's check here something really interesting. 
So the corner rounding, let's select 50 here, okay? 50. And then for this one, we're gonna be selecting 50 as well. Okay? Perfect. So the next step here is to insert five small rounded rectangles. So let's do that. Control C, Control V. So we're gonna select this and then this is gonna be white, okay? White right here. So what is the size for this? So let's go over notes again. This is gonna be 195 by 124, okay? Let's make sure that we're selecting this rounded rectangle. Let's go over position again. And then the width is gonna be 195. And then the height gonna be 124 okay 124 perfect let's go over here again and let's select 25 for now that looks so much better and we need to have five of this control C control V let's go over notes again what is next here we need to insert two big rectangles. Let's do that. Control C, Control B. And then we're gonna check the dimensions real quick. 650 by 312. So let's copy this. Control C. Let's go over position again. Control B. I think this was 312. So we can rearrange this a little bit better. Control C, Control B. Because we need two of these, right? What is next? Let's go over notes again. One big rectangle. 420 times 644. Okay. Control C again. Control V. 420, 644. 420. So let's adjust this real quick, 644, perfect. Let's go over notes again. We need to insert another large rectangle. So let's do that, Control C, Control V. And these are the dimensions, 206. 206 times, this should be 788. Perfect. As you can see, this is looking so much better now. We can keep making adjustments here real quick. If you wanna select multiple visuals here, hold down shift and then click on the other visuals just to align with the other one. And then let's do the same again. Horizontally, perfect. So this is looking so much better. So let's keep going, folks. Let's insert here a search bar. And remember, we're gonna use in the free version here, hit enter. There it is. I like this one right here. So let's insert here. Perfect. I like the green color here as well. As you can see, this is looking really good, guys. So one of the final steps here is to add icons to these visuals. So let's do that. Remember, we have the free version here. So let's type here profit. And then let's insert this one right here. So let's make a quick adjustment here and then green. So for the other one, so let's type here income. I like this one right here for sales. So let's do that. Perfect. Change the color here as well. And then for costs, I do have here this one right here, I like this one right here.
perfect. So now let's look for taxes. Let's go by elements again. Taxes, it's right here. You can just type taxes there and you will get this visual. And let's add here green. And then finally, let's look for freight. And it's already here as well. Let's do that. You can just type freight there and you will get we we'll type something like this and then you will get the options there to to grab the the visuals okay let's make a couple of adjustments here as well for freight and then i like this green green as well great we are done guys the next step here is to duplicate this because we're gonna have a black background as well check this out and then we're gonna copy the visuals here. Control C and then Control V. And right here, we're gonna change this to black. Let's do this for the icons as well. Great, so now we have two different backgrounds, the green background and also the black background. The next step here is to download these backgrounds. Go to download here and then file type. We're gonna go here with the suggested one. We have many options here, many other options, but since we have the free version, we're gonna go with this one right here. So we are good there. And then the next step is to hit download. And just follow the steps like I said before so now as you can see this is your backgrounds as you can see this is the Power BI report that I'm gonna be sharing with you and the idea here is to insert the background so let's go overview format and then canvas background once we get here let's hit image so now here we have the two types of backgrounds, the green background and the black background. We care about the green background for now. Let's hit open and let's see what happens. Boom. So now you have your great Power BI report with a nice background. Let's do the same for the black background. Let's go over canvas background, image, and then let's select the black background. Check this out. Boom. And as you can see, this is a dynamic report. You can select any time and then you will see that these numbers are changing dynamically. And then also you can go over here. Let's select new product for now. If we don't have data, there is nothing there. So let's select all for now. And now we have data for new product and you can just keep playing with these visuals, okay? And as you can see, this is a dynamic report and the backgrounds play a crucial role to make this more visually attractive. There you have it, my friend. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If so, as always, please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, leave your questions and comments below. And of course, don't forget to watch these tutorials if you wanna keep sharpening your Power BI skills. Thank you guys for your time and see you next time.